From Institute of Technology Engineering, Dundigan, Hyderabad, Department of Civil Engineering. In today's lab, we will discuss about loss and drills, operation test on aggregate. So, we have discussed already your operation test on aggregate to find the deleterious particle in the aggregate. Now, we are going for the measurement of hardness and toughness of aggregates using the loss and drills operation test machine. So, here this is the machine, this is the lock and the operation machine. We have a motor device. So we help of this lever, we just switch off the machine, it moves. Okay? So this is one of the apparatus. Apart from this, we require the aggregates which are clean, wash, and open dry. Let's take the aggregate of 5 kg as per the loss and separation test chart. So in the chart, we have the seams. Passing, starting from 80 mm sieve, ISC to 2.36 mm ISC. So 80 to 60, 60 to 40, 40 to 20, like that we have different different range of ISC in loss and its operation test chart. Apart from these, based upon these sieves sizes, we are going to take the weight of the aggregate in the machine. So suppose it is from 80 to 60 ISC. Then we take the aggregate of 1, 1 to 5 zero grams. So 1 kg to 50 grams is the weight of the aggregate we take in the machine. And for suppose it is 80 to 60 mm sieve, we take 12 balls. Okay, we take 12 spherical balls and we place it in the machine. So 12 balls plus 250 grams of aggregates are placed in the machine and we move and we start the machine, it moves for around 1000 revolutions or 500 revolutions based upon the chart, standard charts. So these standards are specified in the IS-2386 part 4. As for IS-2386 part 4, this machine is working. So starting from 80 mm ISC to 2.3 mm ISC, there are different different ranges are there. Based upon the range of the sieve, we take weight of the aggregate and we take number of Special balls required. Suppose 80 to 60 aggregate uh, ISC, we take 12 balls. Suppose the aggregate 10 to 12.3, then we take the aggregate of, uh, then we take a balls of suppose 8 spherical balls are taken. So as the seal size is decreasing, the balls count also decreases. As the seal size is increasing, the number of spare balls to be added at the device is also increasing. So initially we take 12 balls and finally we come for 6 to 7 balls. So, after crushing the aggregate at the balls in the loss and separation test for some 1000 or 500 rpm and we remove the crushed particle and we go for a sieve analysis. So, for the sieve analysis we use a sieve of 1.7 mm IS. So, this is an IS 1.7 mm sieve and we sieve the aggregate using the 1.7 mm IS sieve. So, initial weight is suppose 250 grams or 1 kg to 50 grams and the final weight which passes from the seal is W2. So W1 minus W2 by 100 will give you the percentage of hardness of your aggregate. So here loss and its operation test machine will give you the hardness of your uh, aggregate. Thank you. Let us discuss about dual accretion test. So it is a one of the tests on aggregates which are performed in transportation material lab. So in this geodetration test material uh, test, so we see the percentage of deleterious material in your aggregate. So to know this experiment, we take uh, the apparatus required are uh, dual attraction testing machine, motorized. So we have a motor, we have dual dual attraction testing mouths. So these are placed in an angle of 60 degree, some are 40 degree. Okay, so different angles are there. But as per IRC uh, standards, these are placed in angle of 45 degree. So now these two modes are there. We have a lid. Okay. So we have uh, modes. Thank <laughs> you. 
So this is how a mold uh, of attrition medicine looks like. So I remove the uh, lid of the mold. In this mold, we take a specimen of around 2 kg or 5 kg as per the requirement of your experiment. And in this mold, we place the aggregate which is washed, clean and oven dried. After washing, cleaning and oven dry also, some deleterious materials are available on the aggregate. So those aggregates are placed in two mouths of 2.5 and 2.5 and kg. Total kg is 5 kg. So 5 kg of aggregate is taken and 2.5 and initially in first mouth and 2.5 and in second mouth. And we go for 1000, 1000 revolutions. Uh, we have the reading here. So we go for 1000 revolutions, we take around 1 and a half, one hour or 1 and a half hour. And after going for 1000 revolutions, we collect this specimen in the tray and we go for the sieve analysis. So initial weight of the aggregates which you have taken is 5 kg, 2 and a half in first mouth and 2 and a half in second mouth. So we collect both the specimens in a single tray and we go for the sieve analysis. For to measure the percentage of deleterious material in oven dried aggregate, we require a 75 micron ISC. So this is a 75 micron ISC. We collect the specimen which after the experiment and we go for the sieve analysis. So we place the specimen in the sieve analysis and we collect the powder which passes from 75 micron ISC. So that weight which passes from 75 micron C is W2 and initial weight is W1, that is 5 kg. And W2 is the weight which passes from the 75 micron C. It may be some 250 grams or some 500 grams. So 500 grams per 5 kg into 100. So that is the percentage of deleterious material which present in the aggregate after oven dry also. So why we are doing this experiment is because some aggregates may contain organic which organic fit property, some may have mineral like mixtures, some may have rock and mineral properties, and some aggregates may be, uh, look like uh, like uh, some uh, how you can say some chalk or different different mineral mixtures are coated, and some may undergo the carbonation oxidation process. And to find out the strength of the aggregate and to see the deleterious percentage of the aggregate, we go for the aggregate dual uh, attrition test method. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.